Today, in this video, I'm going to solve two issues. One has to do with cable management and airflow within the box for your main board. And the other one has to do with a parts cooling fan and also the cooling for your main board. Coming up on Sakri's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Sakri, and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news anything with 3d printing or 3d printer related you can find right here on this channel if you're new here and not subscribed yet please consider subscribing and hit the notifications button to get the latest videos right in your mailbox and thanks for being here in one of my videos about changing the stock board from my ender 3 pro into the big 3tech skr mini E3 version 2. I replaced my stock board for the, yeah, this is the other one, for a better board. But during that, from the version 2 board, I put a cable at the wrong place. I will show you how you should do that because when you are taking all the cables out, one cable is sitting here and the other cable is sitting there. No big deal, would you say. But if you are going to change this to the big 3TEC board, one fan is coming here, that is where your hot end fan is going to come, and the other one is going to be here. But if you do that and you want to change your parts cooling, you will notice that the fan this one is still on and some other fan is turned off or turned on depending on which kind of direction you are going so I need to change that if you have an Ender 3 Pro and you used one of my videos to change the board into the big 3 tech version try to look what your parts cooling fan is doing because your parts cooling fan should go turned down if you change the value from 100 to 0, then you know for sure which fan is going to turn off. Because when your stepper motors are going to move, the drivers on your big 3 tech board are going to get warm and hot. So there you need the fan from the fan that is down on your controller box. So. In this video, I'm going to change that. I'm going to see what is going to happen and also better airflow. How important is it to have a cooling for your main board, but then a bunch of cables is in the way. So I was looking on Thingiverse. I was looking for Ender 3 cables and I found a bunch of cable management systems. Very great ones. But for my purpose, I found something that I can use with zip ties. That's the only thing I need. So I saw this one and I think that is working pretty well. This is the Ender 3 cable clips plus zip tie holders by Ali, something like that. Thanks for your support on the community. I will put the link of these, these clips in the description of this video. So before we are going to install these cable clips, what else do we need besides the cable clips holders? We need some Allen keys, the right size. Maybe you also want to remove your display, avoid damaging it, and also one for the controller box. Then a side cutter for your zip ties, cutting them onto the right length and also the zip ties itself. These are very cheap ones, but it will do the job pretty well. So let's get into the installation of these cable clip management system holders. So now we are going to take off the box. So first things first, the parts cooling is here. It's not supposed to be there. 
it is supposed to be and this one and this one goes into the top one but let's take the clips and let's do some cable management so when you have those clips there is room to also put your flat cable through like this and then you push all the way through until it clicks so this is the cable clip as you can see they are big enough to fit right over the middle part of the aluminum extrusion when you want to get it off and you take a plier a screwdriver something like that and then remove it this is how easy it goes so i will put three on this side and one on this side just like this and also one here it's in the middle there are enough wires to fit them Like that. I hope you can see everything pretty nicely. Something like that. This is the jumper wires that I use to connect or extend the 10, uh, 10 pins cable. So that one shouldn't be that much of a problem. And now we can move the cables better and put some zip ties around it. So this, this zip tie I don't need to cut, but this one I need to cut so that I have room to play with the cables. This is the cable for the touch screen part for your touch screen from Big Tree Tech. You can also move it all around here. Something like this. Let's do this in time lapse. So, and this is how my box looks like right now. As you can see, everything is very cleaned up. And I, like I mentioned before, I added here three clips and one here. Before I added the clips, I made sure that my flat cable, my 10 pins flat cable from the display is underneath it. And then I put the clips on. When I was doing that, I took one zip tie, I put, uh, wanted to put it in, but it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't go. So I flipped just a little bit from the end of the zip tie so that it is only going one direction. And then I put it in and then I used the small side from the Allen key to pull it to me. And then I added the cables and then I zip tie it. So, and now my board is optimized for the perfect cooling of my stepper drivers and it's also looking much more cleaner. So one part is going that way, all the stepper motor cables and the flat cable and the cable for the uh, touch screen and the other parts are the thermo cables, the end stops and the coolings. And as you can see, the parts cooling fan is here and the fan cooling for the for the main board is in the on the inside okay so 
now we can clean this up and let's continue so the cover is back on so when you see the cooling for your control box it's right above the step drivers which is very logical then to have also the cable management on that side as optimized as possible well let's flip over the 3d printer and see also for the parts cooling fan so let's heat up the printer temperature preheat pla preheat now the fan is going to work as you can see let's say i'm wanting to change that it's now 100 percent let's change it all the way back to zero and as you can see it's turning off now fan speed now i know for sure that it is working so to wrap up this video it's very important to have an optimized airflow between the cooling of the control box and the stepper drivers during operation those drivers can get very warm or even hot cables in the way of the airflow it can damage your main board or your 3d printer so the cable clips are a very nice feature or nice upgrade to do even if you don't see it on your ender tree so using the cable clips and some zip ties get rid of those cables over your main board so that the cooling of your main board is as optimized as possible and then also when you have a big 3tech main board the SKR mini e3 version 1.2 1.3 1.4 or the 2.0 Make sure that your parts cooling fan and the fan for your main board are not switched. To check that, preheat your PLA in the settings from your 3D printer and then check if the parts cooling fan can be turned on or turned off. And if this is the case, then make sure to swap those cables. Make sure that parts cooling is really a parts cooling and your main board is getting the right cooling. So, I want to give a special thanks to these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. So if you are still watching this video, you are amazing. Thank you. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And I will see you next time. And hey. Let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.